I think there's a very distinct difference between personal life strengths and weaknesses and business mm -hmm. life strengths and weaknesses. So like one of my strengths that I believe I have is, is like very keen self-awareness. There's certain like massive detriments to that, but like a good example is I know that sometimes I'm like a highly emotional person. So I can be taking things to heart that I shouldn't or like flying off the handle right away. Like if you watch a basketball game with me, for example, like watch the Miami Heat and some like explosive dunk happens, guaranteed I'm gonna be the loudest person in the room because that's who I am, right? And like people yeah. are alarmed by that. They're like, whoa, I'm just like, that's just me. Like I'm just loud, I'm just aggressive. That's my personality. If I wanna work on not being like overly angry or frustrated, mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that I'm working on a weakness. It means I'm working on being a better human being myself. Gotcha. In your business, if you suck ass at sales, you don't have to be a better human by being better at sales. <laughs> right. You don't have to do that. You can just focus on what you're doing. Those are two different things. Very different. Like, gotcha. Very different. And I think that's why people struggle with it because in their personal life, they want to work on things to be better people in general, whether it's like being angry or jealous. Jealous is like a big one. No one wants to talk about being jealous, even though every single person in the world feels it. And they feel shitty about feeling jealous and they want to yeah. be better about it. Can you work on that? Definitely. Do you have to work on being better at ads because you suck at it? No, it's literally the antithesis of progress because you're withholding yourself from what you really want to do anyways, which is growing a company. You're not going to grow a company if you do everything. 